Watch Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, starting to transition to our next weather event here midweek, which is heavy rain expected and possible coastal river flooding. That's going to be the thing we're watching here in the Weather Center. We've still got winter weather advisories out. Those now mainly are for the northern coast range as you get above 2,500 feet and up and towards central Oregon where they'll see wind and blowing snow as we head in towards Thursday's forecast. But right now, the big trouble is going to be the heavy rain expected over the next 24 hours. In fact, some rainfall estimates put about an inch and a half for us here in in the valley and uh, possibly up close to three to four inches out to the coast and where the real heavy stuff is right now with the cold front is it's just starting to approach the northern coastline look at some of the intensity of this rain around Mount St. Helens as you get down just outside of McMinnville over on the western slopes of uh, Portland and higher peaks still in the coast range getting it as snow but you notice that everything right around Portland area at least the metro anyway is all rain as the snow lines with the warmer air that's been pumping in on the southerly winds today pushing back up to around 3,000 feet it's been breezy We've seen the winds anywhere. Sustained winds around 20 to 25 miles an hour here inland, out close to the beaches, 30 to 35. And as you might expect, some pretty good wind gusts out there as well. Mary's Peak sitting in the coast range, a 64 mile an hour wind gust, 70 mile an hour wind gust at Yaquina Head, and then towards Lincoln City, we saw 65 and a 37 mile an hour wind gust at the airport here in Eugene. That was a little earlier this afternoon. Temperatures even out into the foothills and the mountains have been rising, 35 in Bend, 28 as opposed to the teens where we were sitting yesterday at Willamette Pass. Still good snow bursting its way through the central Cascades, and I'm expecting more coming overnight tonight. But here in the valley, though, probably not. And in fact, all that you see on the lower foothills around town here is all going to start melting, especially as the rain gets here tonight. So we'll call for windy conditions overnight. Heavy rain for everybody slowly working through tomorrow. Snow lines back up tomorrow afternoon, then they come crashing back down to around 1,500 feet. And with all that snow sort of melting as the rain hits it, we could be looking at some possible coastal river flooding. So we'll call for temperatures above freezing tonight, low 40s and windy conditions at the coast. Coast will likely see, especially north coast, will see a lot of heavy rain potential. This is a monster of a storm in the Gulf of Alaska just churning all the way and all the way around and this cold front is slowly inching its way down across the state. It's going to be a very slow mover. There's cold air moving in behind this too as we head in towards Thursday, Friday and most of your weekend forecast. So let's break it down. As we go overnight tonight into tomorrow, most of the heavy rain still out along the coast by midnight as we transition through tomorrow morning. Our precision cast model still trying to cool us off fast enough that we could switch all that over to snow. But I think what we'll see, see these little green pockets here, I think that'll be the metro areas on the valley floors that will stay rain and then all of the foothills again, 1,500 feet and above, will transition back to snow as we head towards late Thursday afternoon, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We've still got little smaller systems coming at us, but it's going to stay fairly wet as we get ready to kick off the holiday week next week. So heavy early morning rain, it will transition to mainly scattered showers by late afternoon. We'll see another hitter come through on Friday, then Saturday and Sunday we transition out of the rain. And right now for Christmas Eve and Christmas, looks like we may be drier certainly than we will be over the next couple of days. In the Umpqua Basin, a rain on the valley floor, a mix as you get up into the mountains. Showers on Friday, then transitioning to a drier forecast for next week. Cascades, four to eight inches of snow tomorrow. They'll continue to see plenty of snow up at the ski resorts this week. Bend and Redmond, snow and windy with gusts 45 to 50, staying with some snow showers through Friday and Saturday. And finally, here in the valley, rain on the floor, a mix of rain and snow in the hills and the mountains. And Ooh, finally starting to dry out as we head towards Christmas Eve and Christmas. Fingers crossed yeah. we can keep it that way for now. A uh, lot of people would appreciate a dry out. Oh, they would, wouldn't they? Thanks, Justin.